It's after school outside the Maddie Road Center. Here, children burn off energy playing tag. Can you see on the screen? Inside, our camera becomes part of an after-school learning lesson. Act like it's not here and work. Which briefly interrupts art class. For 116 years, the Maddie Road Center has cared for children living in poverty. The center is named after Maddie Rhodes, a young Kansas City native who was working with a church group helping others when diagnosed with typhoid fever. <laughs> Just like now, the center back then cared for poor children while their parents worked. Maddie was dying. She gave all of her money, $500, to keep this daycare going. Maddie was very futuristic while she died at the age of 19, uh, understood the importance of addressing community needs and giving of herself and of her time. Upon her death and gift of money, the center took on Maddie Rhodes' name. Over the years, the work with Kansas City's poorest has continued but grown much wider in scope, more holistic. Primarily what we're trying to do is to create family stability. Art has become one of four outreach programs the center offers to create family stability and bring multicultural living and poverty together. Too many times we dwell on the differences and arts is really a way to bring people together around positive uh, forms of art. <laughs> The Maddie Road Center devotes time to keeping young people safe and helping them achieve personal goals. The staff here also works with parents and single adults to connect them with other social services and get them active in their neighborhoods. We realize that individuals cannot be solely dependent on us. They need to engage in their community. While Maddie set the standard, center directors believe she would approve of their increased programs and outreach. I think we're still very true to Maddie's wish and that is to help the needy and poor. The Maddie Road Center, another reason we're proud to call it home.